introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Well, the latest propaganda effort to introduce your children to the new totalitarian society comes by way of Disney. They've unveiled a new cartoon series where camera-equipped ladybugs spy on kids and then report back to a central authority. This is predictive programming to get your children to accept the coming drone surveillance police state. We warned you about this way back in 2007. DARPA researchers were figuring out how to inject computer chips into moth pupa and then hatching them into healthy cyborg moths. The Hybrid Insect Microelectromechanical Systems Project aims to create literal shutterbugs, camera-toting insects whose nerves have grown into their internal silicone chip so that wranglers can control their activities. Unfortunately, the coming drones won't be friendly little ladybugs. They'll be swarms of killer suicide drones intent on killing anyone who doesn't surrender power to the state. Unobtrusive, pervasive, lethal, micro-air vehicles, enhancing the capabilities of the future warfighter. The U.S. Air Force is developing tiny unmanned drones that will fly in swarms, crawl like spiders, and even sneak up on unsuspecting targets and execute them with lethal precision. Disney's Shutterbug isn't the only cartoon that's out there acclimating your children to this dystopic future. The TSA has rolled out their own indoctrination cartoon, Stop Screen Go, the agency that was set up to purposely obstruct, harass, and train the American public, will now condition your children to be compliant with their invasive pat-downs and wholly ineffective nude body scanners. And Disney's also showing that being perpetually tracked via biometrics is just part of another day at the happiest place on Earth. The CIA-connected company has moved beyond just fingerprint scanners at the front gate. Now they have the Magic Band RFID bracelet. It tracks you through your entire trip, working as a door key, a ticket, and a credit card. But most frightening, it creates an online profile for each family member that can be accessed by the costumed characters. So if you were concerned before about your kids talking to strangers, just wait till you find out that Mickey is actually a middle-aged man with no background check who now has access to their name and birth date. facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. 
and the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution. InfoWarsStore.com. Welcome hey. back. Now joining us tonight is Glenn Trolls. He's a photojournalist and he just recently joined us here at InfoWars, fellow InfoWarrior. And he was telling us about some of his health challenges that he'd been through. And when we heard the story, we said, you've got to go on the air and tell other people about this because a lot of other people are facing similar things and they need to know what's worked for you. So Glenn, tell us a little bit about what happened with you. What was your condition? And you went to regular doctors for a while and tell us what happened. Uh, yes, David, I was diagnosed at the University of Michigan with ankylosing spondylitis, which is a pretty severe condition. I mean, my prognosis was quite bleak, as the doctor said. He told me that I could expect that, at best, I would have at least several of my vertebrae fused permanently in my back. Mm. And I remember when he did give me that diagnosis, I wasn't at all surprised because I can remember quite clearly, it felt like someone had been injecting acid right into my spinal column. It was very, very... Tough. So what did he do for you? What did he prescribe? Well, I mean, he had told me that, you know, the only way I could go were these medications, which were like Indocin, and I think some of the side effects of Indocin immediately were stomach upset, ulcers. I got these right away. It didn't take long. And uh, I, I had him switch me to methotrexate, which is a cancer drug. Mm. And that drug was so strong that uh, they had to reduce the dose and raise the dose. I was on all kinds of kidney and liver function tests. But I know some of these were really, really harsh drugs, mm -hmm. and uh, I was getting a lot of problems from them. And they weren't really helping you with the underlying causes, right? It's just essentially masking the No, they the were masking. They were definitely masking the symptoms, but at the meantime, mm -hmm. they were causing other, other things to occur. Exactly, for and that's what we see happen all the time. Well, well what happened to get you off of that, and, and what did you do to get off of that? Well, um, after taking those things, injections for about... 10 years, uh, you know, I decided that I was going to fire my MD because, you know, I have to credit that phrase and that, that movement towards the show because I learned from the guests on the show um, that that's what you need to do is you get rid of the allopathic doctors and replace them with naturopathic doctors and whole foods and different things like that. So I really want to credit the show for that, that awakening in me. Um, so th that's because they're trying to get to the root cause. They're not just trying to mask the symptoms again. As we're Absolutely, about because right. the masking of the symptoms all the while, you're getting sicker and sicker. Your liver is getting more damaged. These are cytotoxic chemicals going into your body constantly. Mm -hmm. And I did that, and I was getting sicker and sicker, heavier and heavier. And it was just, um, when I did quit, I went cold turkey off all drugs, all docs, all MDs. And my family thought I was crazy. They're like, well, what are you doing? You know, you're like... You're getting sicker. You know, they saw my decline, and it was. I was declining at first. So you've been under standard medical care. They've given you some meds that are going to mask the symptoms, but then they create all these other new health problems. Weight gain being just one of many more serious health problems. What did you do to change this and turn it around? What was it? Well, I replaced my allopathic physician with a naturopath. Mm -hmm. I asked them what these medicines are going to do. What are the side effects they're not telling me? They said the side effects of these medicines are death. And I took that pretty much to heart right away. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got on a modified Max Gerson diet plan, which is elimination of meats and carbs and sugars and all, all pretty much all manner of things that are, are unhealthy and unnatural and processed. And mm -hmm. spent a lot of time at the farmer's markets getting organic vegetables and juicing and making soups. And as I told you, that's where I had my big weight loss. But after mm -hmm. that, I was still sick and still tired in a way that I wasn't prepared to feel, and I wasn't happy with that. Mm -hmm. So then what did you do after that? You're still feeling tired? 
Well, I, after that, I did some more blood work, and it told me that I was B12 deficient. I was anemic from trying to be a vegetarian, which I knew wasn't going to work with my body. Mm -hmm. So I went back to meats and some carbs like sweet potatoes, and uh, I found that that gave me some energy, but I was still didn't have the energy I needed to to work in production the way I want to. I'd have to take l longer naps and breaks and in, in between projects and it wasn't the life I wanted. I was still living on Red Bull and Monster and all that <laughs> until I started really addressing the thyroid. And the thyroid, I started taking por porcine thyroid pills, liver pills, and I started realizing that that was helping a lot. Mm -hmm. And in, fast forward to today or to December of last year and I got this, um, this test that Alex had talked about on air and it because my new naturopath told me that it looks like your symptoms are more related to heavy metal toxicity than anything else at this point. You've mm -hmm. been down that road, you've done the footwork, you know, you, you've taken care of all you can. And uh, you know, I found these folks and they're Christian folks and I, I really believed what they said. So I went and did this quite costly lab test, which you know, it was kind of a burden at the time, but I'm glad I did it because I was high in the big six toxic mm -hmm. metals. And what were they? What were they? Well, aluminum, antimony, um, cadmium, and cesium, amazingly enough, um, and lead was very extremely high. And your cesium, you live for the last couple of years in California, right? So yeah, that's, that's a, true. That's a, yeah, another that's connection true. there. Yeah, I lived um, on the coast of California, and since the Fukushima explosion out there, I've been exposed to whatever's coming through there. You know, in the second page of the report, it says, environmental contamination by C. S-137 as a result of radioactive fallout could be a concern. So uh, I talked to my doctor and he did tell me that, you know, you might have this from Fukushima or you might have this from anything, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I want to caution anybody that thinks that if they don't live in California, they don't have cesium because right. it's, it's, there's radon and there's other things in the earth. That That's right. There's a lot, of, even if it's natural radiation, ionizing radiation is still <laughs> radiation. I mean, it's very different from what you're going to get with electromagnetic radiation, but people are still concerned, like you said, about radon. We saw the beach there in California where it was yeah. up away from the water. It was very, very high, and then it dropped as they went down the water. So it wasn't necessarily from Fukushima in that particular spot, but it was still elevated levels, and people don't walk around with a Geiger counter knowing what, what they're being exposed to. So most people don't know what level of radiation they're being exposed to unless they do some kind of a test like this. And maybe or, they should. Yeah. The doctor explained it to me like this. He said, imagine you're always going out with a credit card to the store and you're buying and buying and buying. It's like you're putting these toxins in your body and eventually your body can't take it anymore. You run out of your, your credit, your credit limits up. But now imagine you're starting to get these things out like using fluoride shield or any of the products at InfoWarsLife.com. I mean, it's like you're now paying with cash and your body's not going to work on credit. You know, you really have to get the toxins out for the vitamins to work because your body runs on enzymes. And if there's toxins there, the vitamins can't get to function properly and make the enzymatic reactions. So you need to have a compound approach to this. It needs to be the, the fluoride shield, the survival shield, and also the vitamins. And I It's just, kind of just the opposite of what we're usually talking about with iodine where you want to try to fill your your thyroid up with healthy iodine to prevent the radioactive cesium or strontium-90 or whatever to be absorbed by the thyroid. But the opposite is true as well. If you've got a lot of harmful chemicals that have filled up your organs, then you're not going to be able to get the good nutrition in. So that's why you need to find some way to purge it out. A multi-pronged yeah. approach, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Glenn. Hopefully thank that'll you. be of some help to people out there. Well, as Glenn pointed out to me when we were talking earlier, he said it's a long-term onset of these diseases and it was a long-term cure. But, as he's pointed out, it's something that you can do. Take responsibility for your own life, for your own health. Educate yourself. Check out the products at InfoWarsLife.com. You'll find things there that can help you to purge toxins like fluoride shield and also essential nutrients at InfoWarsHealth.com where you'll find vitamins that are essential to good health. Well, that's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show.